It's amazing. There you go. Oh, wait, I had a hat. Look at this. This is Mireya Navarro for the New York Times. I visited this clothing swap on the Upper West Side recently, where a group of friends were trading clothes and jewelry. We try on each other's clothes, and we find out, like, which clothes work the best on each person, and then you take home new clothes and new treasures, and you get rid of things that um, you don't want anymore. I have been looking for a bag like this. Oh, this is very cute. This particular swap was also a fundraiser organized through Swap for Good. The guests here donated money to a local women's shelter, and whatever doesn't get swapped will be sent to the shelter as well. Okay, is it too small? No. no. It looks, it looks super very cute. cute. Good colors on you. Yeah. Yeah. To know that a suit that, you know, is too big or too small on me, uh, instead of it going who knows where, I know that it's going to go to help somebody uh, better her life. And that feels good. But I think there also is an environmental and economic component to it. I haven't even Let's see. Oh, these are cute. This holiday season, I found that many more people are swapping or bartering. The movement is partly driven by people who want to reduce and recycle for the environmental benefits. But experts told me the main goal for most swappers is still about saving money. Swap accomplished. I know, I got a bag, I'm like done. <laughs> what bag did you get? 